Morning, guys. This is the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. This is going to be an unedited uh, short, not so short, probably about five minutes, but I want to show, share with you a breakthrough that I think I have made on off-grid, offline communication that will enable a lot of operators to do things without the internet being involved. So let's talk about the station. I've shown this before, but I am spending a lot of time with my new QRP Labs QDX. This is a 5-watt transceiver. Um, that is limited in what it can do, but it forced me to learn JSA Call. So I've only been using JSA Call now for less than two weeks, but I've already figured out how to use it effectively for regional communication uh, with my group, but I've also figured out how to hack into it. So one thing that it has is the ability here to display all of the stations that you are hearing. If there's a star, it shows which stations can hear you. So it provides some information, but uh, I'm more of a visual learner and want to be able to see these stations without going online, specifically to PSK Reporter. So I got up super early, could not sleep, and decided to implement a new feature in the MCOM Tools Tactical Awareness Map. This map is 100% offline. You guys have seen it before. And I was able to leverage some of the existing stuff I built. And now I can go ahead and click on Show JS8 Call Stations, and it'll go out and populate the entire map with all the stations that I can hear. What's cool about this integration is that I actually can do this 100% offline. It never goes to the internet, and it's more accurate than the locations that JS8 Call provides because I have spent a lot of time a couple years ago indexing the entire FCC database geocoding it with lat long coordinates so you can actually see here this first station here alpha alpha zero delta yankee paul i actually get his signal to noise ratio of plus 2b or db uh when he was last heard and then using my kind of uh, background in search and having the offline index you can see he's in colorado springs so i can also go and change this to another station, and we can see we have Ronald. Now everything right now is sorted by the order that JS8 call sends, but let's go ahead and see my buddy Mike. Uh, he's, he's Kilo Charlie 8 Oscar Whiskey Lima. Come on, there he is. So you can see I heard him 34 minutes ago, plus 9 dB. He's in Henderson, Nevada. Heck, we can even zoom it. We can actually draw a line to him and we can zoom in to make things easier. So the nice thing about this too is I actually get better distance calculations. So if I scroll down to the bottom here, you can actually see that Mike is a distance of 223.15 miles at a bearing of 313 degrees. So hopefully you guys like this. Uh, I have almost no time to continue product development like this. I've been trying to transition out of my day job for the last four months. So if you like these products and want to support somebody, I highly encourage you to take a look at my Buy Me A Coffee page. I have three membership tiers with lots of perks, including early access to this and other products. I can't continue to do this, guys, without your support. Uh, the day job is just taking nine to 10 hours of my day. So if you want to see this stuff come to market, even if it's stuff that I have to charge for, please, please consider supporting me. I really uh, could use the help. But anyways, this is a quick feature that I wanted to show you. Very excited about the possibilities. And one other thing to keep in mind with um, this integration is that since it never goes online, you don't need to use PSK Reporter to see where you're propagating into. And this tool for me is now also a propagation analysis tool. So in the field, when I don't have internet access, I can now see, hey, is the antenna signal getting out? Who can I hear? Who can hear me? Things of that nature. The next logical step is to be able to click on one of these pins and start to do streamlined messaging and also inboxes and relays. I am really trying to fully reimagine this hobby and make appliance like this possible. All right, guys, um, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.